Lures. Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So I've been asked to show some beaver sets. So uh, today I thought I would show y'all the most simplest, deadliest beaver, tra beaver, beaver set that I know. Uh, the only thing you have to do is you've got to have current in order to make this set work and uh, a big trap. Now this happens to be a number four Victor double long spring. You can use the four, you can use a five, you can use the TS-85, uh, the MB-750 if that's what you like. Uh, just any kind of, and I've even used the number three coil spring and with this set and made it work just fine. So uh, you're pretty well wide open to whatever you want to use. Now the one thing you need to know about me with beavers is I don't drown my beaver at all. I hold everything alive. I hold the majority of them by the front foot. This is a back foot set, but the majority of them I catch in caster mounds and I hold them all by the back or by the front foot. Uh, like I said, this is number four Victor double long spring on this on this set. But I use uh, either 10 foot of chain or 10 foot of eighth inch cable and I just stake it up on the bank and just let that beaver swim and he'll be there and he'll be just fine. Um, I lose about one out of every 100 to ring off. Um, you're going to lose that many going down a slide wire or down a drown rod or something of that sort too. I mean, there's nothing 100%. There's nothing that's foolproof. So with that being said, let's uh, let's go ahead and get this camera kind of moved around here and set up a bit, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, guys. So all I've done, you can see I've I've cut off this food stick. Uh, it's you can use maple, cottonwood, a poplar, just whatever's whatever's native in your area that the beaver eat. And you come out into the water to where it's, oh, you want the water about, about 10 to 12 inches deep. Uh, 14 will work a little deeper than that and then you start having some troubles. Uh, just because of the difference of where you have to position the trap. Anyway, I, I take this and I shove this down into the bottom of the stream. And like I said, you need current. The, our current, it's not very fast right at the moment because the river's pretty low, but it's moving in this direction. And the reason you have to have current with this set is th this, that's what guides the beaver into it. Um, he absolutely cannot be guided into it. Readjust that camera just a minute so y'all get a better idea. Uh, if it's in dead water, he can come into it from any direction that he wants. So you have to have current in order to guide him into this set. Now we've stake our trap up there on the, like I said, up there at the edge of the bank. And then uh, set this big old double long. And then I like to come on the downstream of the stick about my elbow length back. And I want that loose jaw centered up with the center of my stick. And all you do is just lay it down. Make sure it's bedded in there good and solid, good and proper. Find your loose jaw. Where my thumb is, it's lined up just right with the center of my stick. What's going to happen, that beaver, you're going to put a little lure out here on this. I don't care what you use, it doesn't matter. Beaver's going to come swimming down the creek or down the river, down the drainage, see the stick, smell the lure, turn around, come back, put his front feet up on the stick, and sit down. When he sits down, he drops a big back foot into your trap every time. And that right there, guys, that would be the completed set. Very fast, very simple, very effective, very deadly. You want to catch a bunch of beaver in a hurry, you just take off and start putting a bunch of these in. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to pile them up. All right, guys, that kind of that kind of completes today. Uh, pretty fast, pretty simple, pretty effective set. Uh, 
anybody have any of you have any questions just drop them in the comments below if you would please hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button i sure appreciate it uh until next time this is dale billingsley with another one signing out